back again here in the live stream. Okay. So, um, sorry about that. We have uh, electricity problems here at the pool area. And you are already in the second game of day three here, Champions Cup 2019. And this is uh, the Orcas from Colombia in blue against Hesu Hemilinen Sukeltayat. Sukeltayat? Si. Very in, uh, Finish. In uh, blue, in, in white. And the Orcas are already pushing hard on the Hesu basket. Trying to testing and probing uh, the gameplay of the other team. And we talked about it yesterday, the kind of swarm intelligence they show to adapt within the first minutes um, against uh, a new opponent they don't know yet. So they're adapting very fast as a team. And here we go, we see number 99, uh, La Verde, Juan Jose La Verde on the open side. Waiting. Call from the referee, pushing without ball. Perfect. It was a warning against uh, Juan Jose. So it was a very tough game uh, we saw in the first the first game we saw March against uh, Molde and the first time March did win against Molde. Here we go. Uh, Hesu now pushing into the basket, the defense area of um, the Colombians, of the Orca team. And now the typical heavy attack from the Orcas intercepted pretty well by the forechecking of Hesu. They don't allow them to go through um, that easy. They uh, One player stopped uh, the, the advance of the players from Colombia. Um, right in front of their own basket, but uh, Colombia still in ball possession now, pushing into the defense area of Hesu. Players are uh, getting in position around the basket, but Hesu does now a pretty good job intercepting um, their gameplay, intercepting their play pattern. Yeah. Um, I'm back. Uh Colombia, tenemos a gente despierta, está jugando Orcas la semifinal con Gemelina, los finlandeses. Uh, we don't know, do we know who scored from Malch? Uh, uh, somehow the first half of the time, the, the, was all the time offline, and then we could see the second half, right? Because uh, somehow I, I just missed <laughs> that we had the second time. So let's go back. Uh, Samuel Gavide just got the ball, is trying to attack on the side, being tackled by one of the attackers of the Finnish team. Back out, uh, the player of Orcas, I couldn't see who uh, got the ball, it was took towards the, the goalie that was alone in the basket and after that the image went blank and then we hear the, the horn twice, so it was goal but we couldn't see. Eh, no pude ver quién metió el gol porque en ese momento se apagó la pantalla, así que si alguno lo reconoció justo quién había recogido el balón para, para ir a meter eh, el gol en la portería. So we have three Orcas against two white Finnish players that just just really closed the basket and <laughs> and the, the, the last second that was uh, really close um and it's a free throw against uh, the Orcas Sí, Johnny, todos nos perdimos el gol. <laughs> Lamentablemente, bueno, no importa. Lo eh, importante es que se hizo el gol. And uh, the Orcas managed to snatch away the ball from uh, the hands of the Hesu players in the middle of the pool when they started the game in the free throw. And uh, but uh, Hesu managed to get the ball back right in the middle of. Uh, Colombians for checking is quite heavy and very good, very intense. And uh, Hesu does a, a, a nice job intercepting the fast forward ball playing of the Orcas. And it's difficult, you can see it. It's not like, a, oh, this is a good chance. Two Orcas players against Samuel one Gaviria just from got the, the open side. That, that was a goal. That, that was, was like from Samuel the book. Gaviria. Yeah. 
that was a, a mistake here by the Hazel players. Um, and there was a goalkeeper alone against two Orca players. The defense was lacking behind and coming in too late. And one player was uh, passing from the close side to the open side. And uh, Samu Gaviri, the captain of the Yorka team, scored from the open side. Goal para el equipo de Colombia, Samuel Gaviria. Just, uh, acaba de meter el segundo gol. Tenemos algunos de los colombianos despiertos. Y ahora vienen los finlandeses en un ataque contra dos, contra todo el equipo de Orca está debajo y tratando de recuperar el balón. Hay una, está el atacante con la, pone el balón directamente sobre la portería. Buen cambio de los porteros y el balón ha sido recuperado. Federico uh, is having the ball and he's not having anyone to pass. He just found, I think, that was El Calenio, uh, but then pass it farther. I think that's Rembert. Why, why are they so much in the surface? They need to dive in a little bit more. That was Pacho. And now La Verde, Juan Jose, coming and trying to hold the balls against two, three Finnish players. El Calenio there trying to recover the ball. It takes, and a little bit, it takes yeah. a little bit longer for the Orcas to be uh, there when they attack right now. Uh, it's not what you used to see from uh, their game, um, that any player had to wait to have a station to pass to. Now they're back in the mood. Nice uh, try to pass under the defender right in front of the basket. The Colombian player tried to pass under the feet of the... Hesu player, but he stopped the ball and uh, Hesu is now ball possession. Number seven uh, tried to push forward, call from the referee. Christian, we can uh, talk about uh, uh, your topic here right uh, later. We just want to stay in this game right now. It's a 2 0 lead, and I think we're going for uh, a final match against Colombia here. As it looks like. That would be uh, the interesting uh, combination for this Champions Cup 31. And has in ball possession now, trying to push in right in front, coming from the open side into the defense. But the players are, from Hesu are not well positioned. The cluster around the ball is going up to the surface right above the Colombian basket and the Orcas are waiting it has been the last few minutes in the Orca and here comes basket but now it's a counter attack with three Orca players Juan José La Verde in the middle just pass it to Rembe Rembe trying to come from the open side but the Finnish team recover faster Now passing to, um, who was it, number seven? Ah, okay, um, yes. Uh. <laughs> Still in the area of... So uh, less than 20 seconds left in the first half in this game. Hesu from Finland in white against the Orcas from Colombia in blue. And the Orcas are leading a 2-0 lead. And uh, five seconds. And the end of the first half. Okay. Well, so. that, that was a tough uh, game, but uh, dominated by the game of the... Colombians, but Hesu really did a good job in intercepting, interfering with the game of with the Colombians. Uh, you can see they studied the Colombian game of the Orcas and uh, had a strategy to intercept the fast swimming and fast gameplay of the Orca team, but nevertheless uh, the attacks were massive by the Colombians on the basket. On the second goal happened by a defending mistake from Hesu, which was immediately punished by a goal from the Colombians. So now we are two minutes left from the half time, waiting for the second half to start and uh, Orcas is winning 2-0. Uh, do we have Finnish players, Finnish family members, uh, fans of Hemelina watching? Elina, are you awake? <laughs> 
um, people from Riksu are all watching. So, good morning, Lorena. Good morning. It's a Sunday morning. These top teams, uh, Molde, Mals, Orcas, uh, Hemelina, had to wake up very early in the morning to play the first semi finals. We just uh, had Mals uh, against Molde before this game, and Mals won 1 0, so it's in the finals. And then uh, now we are in the second semi finals with Orcas and uh, Hemelina. And if it continues to be like this, then Orcas will be in the final. But there's still another with 10 more Malsh. minutes to go mm -hmm, with, with Malsh. Uh, 10 more minutes to go, and if still everything is possible because, you know, Finnish team, very experienced one, very strong team. Uh, and they have been attacking aggressively for the last few minutes of the first uh, half. So, Elina is in the live stream chat. Hello, Elina. How are you Good doing? Good morning. Watching UC play. <laughs> and uh, it's still not impossible for uh, Hesu to turn the game around. The 2 0 lead with 10 minutes in front of them is difficult but doable. But uh, Hesu is facing here the world champion and drooling Champions Cup champion. Uh, Orcas from Colombia. Eh, Benjamín, buen día. Bueno, Samuel hizo el segundo y el primero creo que era Celis, ¿no? Dije, o Arias, porque justo cuando estaba por hacer el gol se cortó el... Se perdimos la imagen y no pude ver quién. Is the sound today also bad? I thought it was better. Than, is it still metallic or um, I think it's, it's a little bit better, we, right? We or recalibrated no? uh, the audio stream. Uh, the commentaries should be better now. Please give us feedback about that. Yesterday we had a little bit of a metallic uh, sound and the peaks were like uh, screeching. So it should be better now. So now we are in the second half and uh, the teams are trying to get the ball we have gone again um, we are remember the second half uh, six minutes and 45 seconds to go workers is in position of the ball and they're trying to bring it back to the area uh, of the finish basket um, they're still I, I don't see them the flow of the orcas game is still every now and then a little bit slow normally we see them reacting a little bit faster being in position being ready to pass uh, but we are many, many times we had this that it was one player alone, yeah. and um, and it's there, not there was only missing, it's yeah. not only due to the game of uh, Hesu. We, I, th I think uh, the Colombians really are not that that fast uh, together here. From time to time, we see more and more um, Orca players playing, uh, waiting, and have to fight by themselves, and they have no station to play to. So this could be a dangerous moment if they don't step up the game against Hesu, because Hesu is really up to it. They are now at the Colombian basket, owning even uh, the defense position. And we see a player here waiting in Mala, Mala position under the Colombian basket. So five minutes to go, and it's 2-0 for Orcas. And if it stays like this, then... Uh, Orcas is going to the final with Mals that played the first game of the day at 8 o'clock in the morning and won 1 0 against Molde for the audience that maybe are just uh, tuning up this Sunday morning. All right, let's see. I don't see the or Orcas are playing also a bit chaotic. I don't see really the flow of the game. You know, they are like going back and forth. Normally they are better in position. Now the Counter-attack from the Finnish team, but it's won against four Colombian players. And uh, great uh, passing of the ball. Still, well, it was in, in possession, but now uh, Colombian team, I think it's Pacho, recover the ball. is trying to find someone to pass it. Oviedo, the captain, just pass it. That is a Ooh, horrible big pass. Mistake here. I mean, these kind of things you normally don't see yeah. <laughs> if they want to... <laughs> Win the final, they need to... ¿Qué les está pasando a los chicos? Están medio dormidos. Es muy temprano para eso. O sea, están teniendo un par de errores ahí de pase. No están en... ...for uh, Jesu. 
Let's see, he has three minutes. Let's see if they can take advantage of this. Um, timeout by the Orcas. Um, yeah, I agree with you, Lorena, and uh, we Thank both you. had. Well, sometimes <laughs> I have to. I have to say this for the sake of our okay. marriage. Okay. <laughs> um, the Orcas are not really. No, they're not that really there. Into the the team play. Uh, each one of them, a uh, nice performance of each one of them, and uh, they are leading 2-0. But nevertheless, it takes them too long to be in the place where they should be. Uh, play players from the Orcas fighting too long. Catalina, sí, on sabemos. One. Eh, hoy por la mañana hubo como un corte de energía en, en la piscina, y desde allí se dañó un poco el sistema, y se está como, eh, como es esto, eh, recalibrando. Y entonces por eso nos está pasando que desde hoy a la mañana se está cortando y bueno, están trabajando en eso. Así que lo siento, tengan un poquitín de paciencia y si sí, estas cosas siempre pasan en los, en la, en las primeras horas de la mañana. Lamentablemente hemos tenido bastantes problemas esta vez. Pero bueno, 2 a 0 para los chicos eh, y quedan solamente dos minutos. And Jesu is pushing into the basket of the Colombians again. Um, player number 23. Waiting on the open side, but the attack is tackled up to the surface. We are above the Colombia basket. Ball is dropping down. Well defended by the goalie. I think that was. Uh... Three Colombian players at the Hasu basket. It, again, there was a misunderstanding in the communication of the Orcas. There were three of them waiting around the basket. Uh, it took them too long. Not something you see very often. Now, a uh, player from the Colombians stole the basket, from the Orca team stole the basket from Hesu. But the ball is, was on the surface and is in possession of Hesu player. And also something you don't see very often, the Orca player has to hold on to the feet to the, the leg of an uh, opponent player. Normally they just overswim them. So it's a tough game for... Oh, oh no, another, another, another pass, well pass behind the back. Chicos, ¿qué les está pasando? O sea, ¿cuántos? Ya vi varios pases que como que se cayeron, como que no estaban atentos. Es como que no están muy, muy concentrados. Entonces, a las ocho y media de la mañana el juego que tuvieron, o sea, es temprano. No sé el, cómo les está afectando el cambio de horario y todo. Es tiro libre, pero bueno, dos a cero, o sea... No es que me esté quejando, es que sé que, que, que juega mejor. Timeout for the Orcas. Did they have already one? Was it in the first half? What? Uh, timeout. No, the they did not have. Timeout. Well, I no, no. So timeout <laughs> now for Orcas. Un ha pedido tiempo el equipo de Orcas. Eh, 45 segundos quedan. Y eh, sí que hay menos de un minuto para, para, el, primer, para el segundo tiempo. Eh, Eurcas está en la final junto con Malsh, que ganó hoy a la mañana el, el primer partido del día que tuvo lugar a las 8 contra Molde, que también lamentablemente se estuvo todavía la transmisión cortada por el primer tiempo, 1 a 0. So, guys, as, as it is, uh, in the final we have Malsh that won 1-0 against Molde early this morning against Orcas that is winning 2-0 against Jesu and it's just another minute left from the sec for the second time and um, so semi-final will be between Finland and Norway. So less than 40 seconds left here in the second half of uh, the Finnish team Jesu against the Orca team from Colombia in blue and Hesu is going now in from above um, trying to Great push attack, number yeah. 60 but all the orcas they are stopping this guy yeah it's quite what? massive both teams uh, it looks like another Kirov is trying 23 is trying to push into the defense but uh, tackled up to the surface time is ticking down five seconds left and that's the end of bueno, the game. And that's the end. Uh, 
2 eh, for Orcas, o sea, dos ceros para Orcas. Ganó Orcas que va a estar jugando la final contra eh, Malch, el equipo alemán, hoy más tarde a las uh, 3 y cuarto. Now we are going to have the final at 3.15 uh, Berlin time between Malch, the German uh, champion, and Orcas. So uh, Malch made it in their first uh, appearance at the Champions Cup for uh, more than uh, 13 years. They made it into the finals to face uh, the world champion and ruling Champions Cup champion Orcas from Colombia. It was a great game. We saw two great games uh, this morning. Malch defeated uh, Molde from Norway. Malch, the German team, defeated uh, Molde from Norway in a 1-0 lead within the first minute. And uh, here we saw the Colombians uh, defeating Hesu from Finland uh, with a 2-0 lead. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, world. Live stream seems to be stable now. A little bit better. We had a shortage. Uh, electricity, electricity problems. That's why the system was restarting over and over again, and I had to switch yes. to Facebook live stream from the pool. So, last day, and uh, this could happen to everyone. Um, I remember almost every live stream had problems uh, from time to time with outages. So. Uh, Quite normal with the whole setup. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, for all the time. Uh, well, there has been a big discussion like this year. It is also a tradition that, the, you know, EuroLeague versus Champions Cup. Well, Can I say a, my piece of, 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 of opinion to what the people have been discussing? Please. I think, yeah. Look, I think um, EuroLeague is a great concept and they're doing... Important thing is people that are is trying to work for the, for the sport. I, I don't like to have one versus the other, again, do something against the Champions Cup, do something against the EuroLeague. Guys, we are not... A lot of players of Underworld are around the world, maybe 5,000. It's amazing that people that is trying to create things that work out different concepts that can be a four by something. But then the EuroLeague is an expensive concept. It's a very good concept. I think it's fantastic work what they are doing. I think it's a lot of work and, and, and it's very hard to keep that up and it's great. The Champions Cup is a different concept. It's more affordable for all the team. And, and I'm sorry about the transmissions, but think about it. We have two and a half days of competition. Something goes wrong technically. We, I mean, we don't have a lot of time to, to repair. We have to continue with the games. You know, we have 23 teams. The EuroLeague, they have technical problems. First of all, I mean, they put a lot of money to have a, a more technicians available, but also they can stop the game because they have two or three games or four games, and they have always one hour in between. So they do have time to repair these problems before you start the transmission. So I don't think it's constructed to be fighting against each other. I think that everything that is there can be improved. Surely there's room for improvement for the Champions Cup. Um, surely maybe there's even room for improvement for the EuroLeague. Let's just work together and see how we can help each other to make things work better and, and have fun together. I mean, this is my piece of advice. So, but thanks uh, so much for all the opinions and, you know, all the commentaries and this, all people that love the sports and really want the things to work. So, yeah. So I had, sorry, I had to, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Yeah, but I agree with Christian. He doesn't say uh, anything against the Champions Cup. He yeah, was yeah. talking about collaboration. No, I but know, I, I know. But I think the formats are yeah. so... The, the, the way EuroLeague is done and the way the Champions Cup is done is so different yes. in, in so many ways. You, you can uh, 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 trash uh, the, the Champions Cup live stream as much as you want. It's another concept. It's another idea behind it. And uh, the EuroLeague has a different idea. So, um, I think they complement each other in a way. We, I mean, yeah, in a they, they, we can yes. talk about and see maybe what can be done better or different to the Champions Cup, definitely. I mean, because the, the sport is evolving, you know, things are evolving, so, you know, um, We hear a lot of feedback, but this Champions Cup, the way it is played and the atmosphere here is uh, something unique. Uh, you don't have anywhere else on any tournament than international tournament that is in this 
quality and uh, uh, good organization at the pool and uh, around the pool. So um, this is special. This is a family event for the whole community. EuroLeague is quite different in that way. Um, it's more professional. It's also meant yeah, to the, be like I think the EuroLeague professional is going version for a different of thing. They are, yeah. they are going for money and professionalism versus uh, the Champions Cup being a family event um, that has a huge tradition. And uh, it's, it's, it's the Berlin Champions Cup. Yes, Christian, uh, sure, it was in Copenhagen. But uh, if it would be somewhere else, it would be something else and no longer yeah. the Berlin Champions Cup. That's, that's